So, so patience has always been a challenge for me. And many of our do you customers- think, do, you th- do you think that's because of ambition or do you think that's because you wanted to seem successful in front of other people's eyes? If you really dug deep. I think it's probably ambition. Like I, if I want things to happen faster than, and it's hard for me to wait for them, you know? And mm-hmm. we see a lot of that. A lot of our customers are young entrepreneurs and they're really hungry to grow their business. And what is your advice to, to uh, as far as patience and taking a long-term view? I just don't know anything else. My mm-hmm. advice is, if you love it, why would you want it to end? Mm-hmm. Like for me, business is my hobby. Yeah. So like when you go on a skiing trip, like don't you get sad when it's Sunday when you were looking forward to it and you got there Thursday and you skied all weekend? Mm-hmm. For me, that's business. This goes back to my point of people wanting things or wanting to seem successful instead of actually being about it. For me, yeah. patience is a piece of cake. It's the only thing I want to do. I wish everything slowed down. Now, to your point, I, I've had very fast successes in my career mm-hmm. because I use self-awareness I put myself in good positions, but in the macro, I'm patient and, and it leads to a lot of mental health. When you're not anxious for success, you're happier. Mm-hmm. And that's and where just, that content comes yeah. in. And enjoying the process, the process love of it, what you love do. It, love it. Like, like everybody wants to sell their business these days. Mm-hmm. I never want to sell my business. Yeah. And, and, you know, I, I'm with you there. Uh, I'm a big believer in passion um, and having passion for what you do. I've never worked at a job or stayed at a job that I wasn't passionate about. And that kind of helps you weather the storms and stuff. I mean, look at this. I'm getting paid to interview you right now. How cool is that? You know, and, and I also believe in EQ. You know, I reached out to my speaking bureau, um, Vayner Speakers, my company, my speaking team after our speech the other day and said, hey, the Wi-Fi was not stable where I was. I couldn't get it there. Can you reach out to them? Maybe we can, and, and look what, we're, you know, this is, yeah. this is actually caring. Mm-hmm. 